Hi there, BLM Partners. I'm so delighted to bring you this update. In the last three months, we've been able to minister in 11 churches and we've seen 85 people give their hearts to Christ. And many of those have become water baptized as well. God is moving in this hour and we couldn't do this without you. We ministered starting off down in Maruya on the south coast. Then we ministered in far north Queensland through Cairns, Atherton and Innisfail and then down all through the Riverina and then even way out west to Broken Hill. And in every single meeting that we've seen, we've, had, we've seen God move and we've seen miracles break out. Out of Broken Hill, we had a man who was booked in for hip operation. He needed surgery on his hip. He'd been in constant pain for two years and instantly he was delivered and his hip is set free. He's a new man, he's running and jumping on his hip. While we were there in Cairns, we had a lady with the bottom one third of her spine that was eaten away from osteoporosis. She couldn't move, she was in constant pain. She gets out of her wheelchair and she starts to walk. She even walked out to her car at the end of the meeting without the wheelchair, praise the Lord. And then down on the south coast, we had another woman, her eyes opened up. She can't see people's faces. Or right. read print or All right. see things up there. Okay. Like All that. right. Wow. Amen. Now blink your eyes. Just blink a few times. Can you see my face? Yes, I can. All right. <laughs> I can see people's faces. I can make out people's faces. Is that Danny? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, I can definitely. Thank you. Goodness Thank you me. So, so you're going to be driving home tonight, eh? Oh. No. <laughs> Another lady from Daniloquin, she had had constant um, depression and mental illnesses for over 40 years. She's been on heavy medication. She was delivered from a demon and her mind has come free and she's got all her confidence back and she's completely on fire for God. She had all these other conditions of pain in her body. That's all left her as well. So much so that we've got to go back out to that whole region in a few weeks time and do another series of meetings because they're just so excited to have a move of God. People are more hungry for God than ever before. And people, when they see these miracles happen, when they see God move on their friends. And when they hear the gospel preach, they are responding, they're opening up their hearts and God is moving. And you, your, your contributions and your giving and your support of our ministry makes you a part of every single miracle and every person who's touched and every life that's transformed. And we get on an aeroplane tomorrow and fly to Melbourne where we've got a whole series of meetings in a church down there this weekend. It's going to be the same again. We're going to see miracles happen. And then off the back of that, we're, we're going into Mansfield, into country Victoria, and then up again into the Riverina for more revival meetings. People are calling us to come back because more and more people are getting on fire for God. This is the hour to see the gospel spread. So thank you. God bless you, and we'll look forward to catching up with you in a meeting real soon. God bless. Bye for now.